In my previous video, I showed you how to add company holidays to the standard calendar. When those holidays occur on a specific day of the month each year. If you didn't already watch that video, please click on the link down below and watch that video first. Then come back to this video and I'll show you how to add company holidays to the standard calendar when those holidays occur on a specific date each year. And as a bonus, I'll also show you what to do when a company holiday occurs on a weekend. So let's get started. To create a holiday that occurs on a specific date each year, select the next occurrence of that holiday in the calendar grid. For me, that would be December the 25th, which is Christmas Day. In the exceptions grid, enter the name of that holiday, then press the tab key and the right arrow key to select the start date of the holiday. To make that holiday recur multiple times, click the Details button. In the Details dialog, select the Yearly option and then select the definition for your holiday. In my case, Christmas Day occurs every year on December 25th. At the bottom of the dialog, Enter the number of occurrences you'd like for the holiday. As always, I recommend 5 to 10 occurrences. I'll enter 5. Click the OK button when finished, and there you've created your first company holiday that occurs on a specific date each year. However, what do we do when the company holiday occurs on a weekend? This is where your company's HR policies come into play. Many companies state that if a holiday occurs on a Saturday, we observe the Friday before as the holiday. And if a holiday occurs on a Sunday, we observe the Monday following as the holiday. That's my company's policy. So I'll go ahead and select December 26th, then in the exceptions grid, I'll enter the name of the holiday like this. Because this is an observance, I'll actually put the name of the holiday plus the year plus the word observed. And then I press the Enter key because each of these observances are only a single occurrence. So continue the process of creating your company holidays that occur on a specific date each year and also create any observance exceptions as well. You can now see that I've created all of my company holidays. I've added company holidays that occur on a specific day of the month, holidays that occur on a specific date each year, as well as the observances when a company holiday occurs on a weekend. When you finish creating all of your company holidays, click the OK button. There, you just added all of your company holidays to the standard calendar. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, I trust you'll consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. Please watch the next video so you can see how to create a custom calendar in Microsoft Project, and I'll see you in that next video.